Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, like, share, because I'm trying to raise awareness about blindness and stop the stigma against sight loss. And have you ever wondered how blind people read or if they can read? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Hi, thanks so much for watching. So, you probably clicked on this video because you either met a blind person or you've heard about a blind person and you have some questions. And you know what? With me, it's always okay to ask questions. You have a question you want answered, write it in the comments below. Or you can follow me on my social media, Twitter and Facebook, and you can send a message privately through there as well and ask your questions and I will do a video about it. Or if I've already done a video, direct you to that video. So, reading blind people. Alright, so realize that blindness is a spectrum, okay? There's actually a very, very small percentage of people who see absolutely nothing. So absolutely nothing means that they have no light perception, so that means they cannot tell if a really bright light is on or off. Um, and so you'll have that, you have the extreme where there are people who see absolutely nothing. They can't see light, they can't see colors, they can't see shapes, they can't see shadows, they can see nothing. And then you have people over here who are legally blind, or even like there are people who are like, they still have more sight than a legally blind person does, but their life is still majorly impacted by their sight loss. And so if you have, you know, it interferes with the work or the activities and it cannot be corrected, that is actually a form of blindness. So that is legally blind. So that could be someone who can still, they can read up close, okay? So, um, there are some blind people who, like, I, uh, I am diagnosed as this legally blind, probably from effect for testing, and I'm completely blind, but I keep putting that off because I don't know, maybe it's a denial thing, I don't know. Um, so I cannot read text. Um, I can guess at what music looks like, and I can guess the notes, but most of the music I play is memorized, um, but you can check out that video, I'll put that link in the, in the end, um, how I read music. But I cannot read text. Um, if it's blown up really, really big and the letter is like this big, then sometimes I can kind of guess what that letter is and, and guess some words. But <laughs> that is not my daily life. I can't walk around with a giant CCTV and read things. Now there are devices, wait, before I get to that, there is Braille. So I do read Braille. Braille is raised dots and um, that is how I read. So I do read some things that are blind. I was part of a, oh, I forgot what the International Blind Library is. And they were sending me books, but I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten a book from them in a long time. So I don't know, maybe there's like postal strike going on or something, but it's been a long time since I've gotten any books. But that being said, so if you cannot read text, you read Braille. Now there are many devices. There's an app on the iPhone. And yes, blind people have phones. I know there was a huge debate about people judging blind people who used phones. Um, but there are apps on phones that if it's a printed text, you just hold your phone up and it will start reading that printed text to you. Uh, there's something called OrCam. That was actually something I was incredibly interested in getting, except they cost an arm and a leg, so <laughs> that made my decision for me. Um, and that's another thing that can be put onto your classes and it will read, um, it, like it, it'll read text. And I, I believe there's some other cool things that it can do as well. Um, there are devices, desktop devices, where you put a book underneath and you, it'll read the printed text. So there are lots of devices that are available. Now this is the trick though. A lot of these devices are really, really expensive and out of reach for blind people. So I don't know about world worldwide, but in Canada, 90% of people who have some kind of visual impairment are not employed. They, they do not have a job. If you do not have a job, you do not have money. You do not have money you cannot get these tools there are some programs that are out there that you can benefit from um, like the ontario disability support program and there are a few others but um there's a lot of restrictions and there are a lot of hoops and if you have any kind of mental illness at the same time as dealing with blindness a lot of these people just 
they, they don't have the fight to push through all the paperwork and to jump through the hoops and to try and get these devices that are available. So there are devices, um, you know, mankind has come a huge way in technology, but a lot of that technology is still out of reach for the average blind person. Actually, the majority of blind people. The majority. I'm going to say the majority. Especially adult blind people. Okay? Because it's, you don't have that income. You don't have um, a lot of people that are supporting you financially so that you can go and do those things. So, like I said, there are a ton of devices and a ton of technology, but because of cost and price, um, they're not always made available. And like I said, in Canada alone, the, the latest up-to-date study is that 90% of people that are blind or have a visual impairment in Canada are unemployed and only 10% have a form of a job. So that doesn't even guarantee that they have full-time jobs. So can blind people read? Yes, they can read. May not always be the same as you because if someone asks me, can you read? I might say no, but I can read braille or I might say yes, but I'm meaning braille. <laughs> so it's, it's tricky. So, um, but I hope that answers your question about blind people reading. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Become a part of my YouTube family. Learn more about sight loss. And if you're one of my blinded followers or my visually impaired followers, thank you so much for following me. Uh, if you want any tips or tricks or hacks about what I have learned thinking outside the box, please feel free to put that down in the comments and questions below. I know I still owe you guys the video of how to paint your nails. If you're a blind person who likes to paint their own nails, I actually have a, tick, a, a trick and technique and um, a tool that I use that you can have really great looking nails and not have to go somewhere and get them done because I don't know about you, but I don't have money for that. And I also know I owe the eye drop video as well. So that will be coming. Please be patient. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but there are certain uh, circumstances that have to line up for me to get those videos up and going. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, join the YouTube family. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Your Canadian Blind Girl. Bye!